<laughs> that is the test of trust. So there it is right there. Hey, this is Dad Random. Uh, I got a lot of things going on today. Um, I decided to come out to the lake, um, and I'm serious today. Anytime I wear camo, you know that I've got a very serious uh, review going. So um, we are, and I've been talking about a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was talking about the EXO, and I made a bunch of comments about it. So I just uh, we, we've been blessed with a beautiful day, and what I wanna do today is I want to get the EXO out of the box. Um, I have flown this just, you know, within the confines of my yard, getting firmware and things like that um, put together. I'm still a little baffled about a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna try to hold my comments to only photography today. And I'm trying to get past any, um, any feelings that, um, that compare this to other drones. That's the hard thing is, is if you, if you fly other drones, it's very difficult to get past those comparisons. Now, so this one is the Exo Blackhawk. So let's go ahead and open it up. I've got a close up here. Um, if you notice, I've got two mics going on. I, we've got a backup mic. I've got two cameras and I've got the new road system. So this is the Rode Wireless, wireless Go, go 2. 2. We're on sale and I picked one up. I just bought a single channel road. I probably should have bought a double channel road because I could have put uh, two different mics in two different spots and I didn't think about that but I got what I got I've been using a single, a single uh, DJI yeah. so this is for the pocket 2 this one I got connected up uh, to my uh, uh, original Osmo so we are uh, we should have uh, some interesting uh, uh, audio uh, differences today but um, it is kind of overcast today and because it's overcast the camera's gonna have to work hard and this camera boasts uh, one over 1.3 or uh, sensor and we'll uh, we'll give it a shot now. We got a kid over there. I can I can hear a kid screaming out there That's okay. That's it's the lake and it's beautiful out there. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully uh, uh, The wind stays uh, calm, but um, I've already opened up the drone pocket pa They pack a lot of stuff or they've put a lot of stuff in this specific here I'm gonna take this off. If I'm gonna fly this thing properly Even though this is a, a uh, I'm gonna return this by the way if, when I'm done after I do my review, but um, there's a lot of stuff in here. They really push a lot of things inside of this bag. I mean, there is like adapters, and it, it's it's one of the things I can make a comment on right away uh, is that they 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 really uh, over prepared, which is good. I'd say it's important to over prepare rather than under prepare. But this is the Black Hawk Two right here, um, and. Yes, I'm just gonna basically deal with the uh, the elephant in the room, which is is it does it feel like an uh, an air to uh, an air original air? Yes, it does. It feels exactly like original air. Um, it's uh, it's a little bit more beefy. Here's the gimbal guard right here. A little bit more beefy than the original air, and to me the the gimbal. If you look inside here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down here. The gimbal looks a lot more like. Um, like it's in, like it's it's got a lot more, uh, well, it does have protection around it, but it is very, very, very delicate. This is a very delicate gimbal. Um, and I don't know if you're going to, you know, I think the next step up for, uh, for these guys will be to take this camera gimbal to the next level and beef it up. Um, but this thing is already heavy as it is. Uh, you can't add any more weight to this than you, than you want to. Um, the other, the other thing I noticed right away are the props are very small. These are very small props. Um, maybe it's just a, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. Uh, maybe it's just an optical illusion, but for the weight, the props just seem like if they're a little bit, I think it's, it feels like it's a little bit under propped. Um, I, uh, it, and because it's under propped, these motors spin at a really high RPM. Probably my biggest, my biggest concern at this point, I've got only one concern is, you know, barring the screaming kid across the lake this drone is going to make a lot of noise and it does make a lot of noise and one of one of my big concerns 
is that when I'm in a park, I want to leave the smallest footprint possible. And this is not going to leave a small footprint until it gets to about 110 feet okay, away from me. Um, so that's one thing right away. This thing is very loud. It is not quiet whatsoever. Um, I, um, that's, that would be one thing. I, 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 I'm going to try to keep all of my, my comments so far as positive as I can and helpful. Um, this definitely is thicker than the original Air. Um, they've added a, a sensor array. Um, there's, uh, there's, you know, there's optical flow. There's uh, directional sensors. So we've got a lot of things in here. The original Air did have uh, front and rear sensors. Um, I am flying. Now I think I'm going to do this just to be safe. Yesterday I flew with the internal battery storage. I'm going to put a card in this one. This for my, you know, this is my introduction. I'm going to put a card uh, in this in just a second, and I'm going to format it. So one of my batteries is going to take some of that, um, and it's going to do some of that stuff. It's going to do. I've already went through some of the camera settings. Um, one of the problems with a newer with a drone that you have not held before is that, um, and you or used the app before with. It's been a while. Is that the um, Look at that, just the same. Look at that, just the same as the, the air. Uh, but uh, is is I is in for le less, not being familiar with the app. Okay, so that's that's pretty pretty one of my issues, one of my concerns today. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pause really quick. I'm going to finish um, putting a new card in here. I'm gonna go ahead and format that card, and the card I'm gonna put in uh, is a brand new e uh, brand new. Uh, I can't remember the name. I'll, I'll put it up on the on the comments uh, when I'm done. But a very good card, a card that should be able to handle the 4K video. Um, all right, here we go. All right, I'm going to stop right here, and we're going to move ahead. We're going to forge ahead. But uh, Blackhawk 2, um, let's see what it can do. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to take pictures of here, so let's get going. All right, uh, this is Dad Random. I'm back again. Um, here we go. Um, one of the things I want you to hear right away is when this thing starts up, it has a very loud fan sound. Now, I can show you at the bottom, but there's a really big fan in here. And of course, if you move the... So if you move the quadcopter in an odd way, the, the gimbal will put itself under protection. And then it does... It says it's jammed, but it will unjam itself. So you see that? That's actually a good thing, okay? Um, whatever. It's kind of a pain in the butt because you have to wait for it to do that. But as long as it goes through uh, that protection cycle, I'm good with it. So let's go ahead and launch. Um, I want you to hear the, 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 the high pitchedness of it. It's very, very loud. But, um, you know, you, you, let, you, tell, you tell me whether you think it's loud or not, all right? But uh, the videos I've seen... Um, it's been very loud, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna have you, uh, put the drone here. We will. All right. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and spin up the props. Um, I've got uh, pretty much ready to fly. It says it's got 10 satellites. Um, and maybe I should do some camera settings just in case here. It's an auto, which is good for me today. Um, let's see, video format, uh, photo format, JPEG. Um, let's go to video format. Uh, let's see, horizontal correction. I'm not going to correct it because I can't. I can't tell because we've got a we've got a, a horizon that's leaning out there. Let's go here. Let's go to, let's see, 48 megapixel. Let's see, first turn off HDR. I had this happen before. Um, if I have HDR going and I can't, I can't do 48 megapixel shots. So there was that. So we're not gonna do any uh, HDR um, enhancement. We'll do that in post if we wanna do that. So let's do it. Let's turn that off. Let's, uh, let's see. I think we're in good shape. Uh, format memory card. Let's do a format. We're going to format it just to make sure this card is formatted for a camera. So we're going to 
reformat it. And it should be formatting. Memory card format, so there we go there. And we're in uh, auto mode. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and we'll lock the exposure right about where those that those cliffs are. Shouldn't have too much uh, worry about exposure lock today. Um, let's go back into the functions here. Uh, style natural. It's it's. We'll just keep it natural. It's not sunny yet. Um, we've got an overcast sky. And let's see saturation five contrast sharpness. Uh, I'm not going to do log format today. Uh, let's put the grid lines um, on for me today. So then you can look at the horizon. Uh, let's see what else I want to basically put on. Uh, I got grid lines on. I think that's it. White balance 51. That's actually pretty good. So if we may remain consistent, that's a pretty natural. Uh, pretty natural. Let's go ahead and then we'll, we'll lock it. All right. So I'm gonna let's go to uh, let's go to controls. Let's see, remote control, custom joystick settings, mode two, that's good. We're gonna go back. GPS safe takeoff, hyperlass automatically enhances image stability, allows emergency paddle stops and failure only. Let's see here, there's our gimbal settings. Normal. Pitch smoothness. Let's go ahead and mess with that a little bit. Got a standard map. Smart battery. Let's go to the drone. Let's go to let's see automatic rotation. Novice guide. That stuff there. Enter the device. Um. Now I had, yesterday I had problems with, um, there's normal, there's sport mode, and then there's film mode. I was stuck in about six miles an hour, which I'm assuming is film mode. So let's go ahead and, we'll go ahead and take off and see if that still does that, all right? So I'm gonna concentrate on flying from here on out. Um, and got that all the way up. Let's, I think we're, we're good. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Um, I was going to check. Is there an overexposure warning on here? Let's go there. Zoom magnification. That's uh, that's just, gosh, just going through all those. Okay. Okay. I, I got it. Um, where's my, let's go up here. All right, I'll start calibration. Let's see. Oh, obstacle avoidance. I want it in bypass mode. The aircraft no longer automatically avoid obstacles. I want, no, I want it in bypass. In order for obstacle avoidance to work properly, please calibrate the obstacle avoidance system. Um, PV mode. Let's see, return to home altitude, 80 meters. That should be good there. So everything else should be good. Um, oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go ahead and take off. So I'm gonna take off uh, normal. So here we go, I'm just gonna, oh, out, spin out. Let's come on here. Uh, gyro sensor detects abnormal roll and pitch values. Cancel that. Let's go there. Calibrate gyro. Oh boy. I 
or we just want to take off here guys okay all right it's making me calibrate all right we're gonna to go to uh, calibration here it's basically saying that they're trying to shut down shut it down let's see gyro start calibration calibration fail here let's get it somewhere else I guess uh, let's put it over here it's probably said hey you waited too long I'm getting hot that's what I'm that's my guess uh, see this is the problem when you're when you're filming in the in the outback um, uh, I used to carry a, a mat around to do this uh, there we go this is Utah though there we go so my truck my truck my truck keeps my truck keeps interfering there's our takeoff going on down there here let's do a dust off with the camera I'm facing it Attitude and behavior. I'll tell you right now. Sounds like a, a bunch of killer bees. Right. Put camera two up here. It's all dusty. Let's make sure it's working. All right, camera two still functioning. <laughs> Let's get the, let's bring it up. Give it a different angle here a little bit. All right, here we go. Uh, good, it seems like normal mode is normal today. That's good, that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and let's, oh, there we go. Now we're gonna lock the exposure. And we're going to, let's see, let's use the record button. Uh, let's use the record button. <laughs> uh, it's not recording, any oh, it's taking pictures, hold on. There we go. All right. And now we're off. Are we recording yet? Hmm. Anyway, I, I pushed this button here and all right, we should be recording video. There we go, we are recording video now. So here we go. Now I guess I wanna worry about flying. I don't wanna worry about anything else. Let's just fly and enjoy our flight. We got plenty of battery for... There we go, we got a moving subject, which is kind of nice today. The water skiing action going on there on the lake. Uh, We're going nine miles an hour in normal mode. Is that normal? Please tell me. Because if I were flying anywhere else today, I would be worried about that speed. <laughs> now we're at 10, it's speeding up a little bit. Let's go to uh, rule of thirds. Let's get that top horizon. I'm not recording the screen today. I got too many things to worry about. We got a little bit of, I'm doing a little bit of uh, yaw. It looks like our speed is still good. Bring the gimbal up. And that third rule going. Signal. Please adjust the antenna. All right, we got the antenna adjusted. Signal. Please adjust the antenna. We're gonna adjust it a couple of different ways. So I've been across this little spot here quite a few times.
just a little bit slow, a little, um, a little bit too slow for my taste. there and we're gonna go up that one can help the signal a little bit we're just going to that little tree there and this is kind of into the Sun and we'll do it we'll do a trip back away but just a little bit slow for my filming yeah this should be like the slow um, mode. Alright. So far so good. I see a pretty good video picture, pretty good video feed. Alright, just make sure everything else is going good in their shot here. Um, let's make sure we clear this cliff. Um, got some breakup going on up there. Not that far away for that breakup, but I don't like getting breakup when I'm out this this far so let's get some let's get some altitude that usually helps with the breakup issue do some antenna moving and I'm gonna braise the gimbal up a little bit and I lost let's, let's get to, let's get to turn around here um, I've flown here a lot of times and I've never lost signal there ever. Okay, so we've got a little bit, maybe it's an antenna thing. All right, I'm going to come back so you can see the sky dynamics are much better this way. Let's go ahead and make a, we'll save a clip there and let's go ahead and, okay. Hopefully we don't pick up, uh, the music from, uh, that boat because that would be a copyright strike for me. That would suck. I'd have to just turn this into a... a... So I'm going to do a, a short... That sounds like my brother's band actually. Okay, we're flying 11 miles an hour back. And we're, I'm going to do a I'm going to do a pivot here. So so I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to go this way here and I'm going to a little side. And then I'll bring it back a little bit and we'll do some Reveal that side of the lake. There's the boat right there. That's the boat in question. Um, I've lost. I, I lost signal again. Okay, I lost signal again, and I'm trying to do a slow pivot. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the center. I'm go ahead and put this in the back in the center of my. Up, you know, I'm going to try. I'm going to put the antennas down like this for some. I mean, there's. All right, we're going to do this, and then I'm going to do a, a slow pivot. Okay, that's, I, I, it should, they should be up like this. I should be dipole, straight over. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up a little bit. We got 65%, so that for this shot, okay, this, the guys, this shot, this shot right here should, should be a breeze. Drifting a little bit away from our point of view of interest right there. Um, let's go, let's go ahead. Let's, let's move, let's go full. Of, Eleven miles an hour, I'm in normal mode. And I, I don't think they should, you know, maybe do I have a beginner setting on or something? Thirteen. Change this to sport mode, and we'll see what sport mode gives me. 
more control. Oh gosh, thank God for sport mode on this. All right, so I would say normal mode is way too slow. And sport mode is probably right on. 23, 22, that's a shot right there. The other stuff was so slow. And I, I'd like it to react a little bit more, more quickly going up as well. So there we go here. And we're gonna, we're only halfway through the battery, so we're gonna go to the other side of the lake. See if we can get some water. Reflective shots into the water. It's not very bright today, so we we we're still should be getting that that shallow that shallow part right there. Bring up the gimbal. fly home. Let's get really let's get really low so we're coming in right here. Got a big swan over there. God let's hope we don't scare it. God that's loud. That poor swan thinks it's getting attacked. Let's do a little Change the exposure, lock the exposure on that swan there. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture, and we're going to change that to camera. Is that even? A, is that even a freaking swan? Or is that a, am I taking a picture of a freaking <laughs> taking a picture of something freaking sitting in the water? Thought it was a swan. What the hell is that? Or we'll find out in a second. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good joke. I'll tell you right there. Current GPS location has a lot of interference. Nah, okay. All right. I'll believe that. All right. So, I'm trying to zoom in here. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I can zoom in with my. With Right, let's return. I'm, I have no idea what's going on here. I am going to uh, do a return. I'm going to get. I'm going to come home. I don't know what the hell's going on. And I'm going to go ahead and take a take. Get, get back in video mode. Gosh. Like I said, there's just too many things happening that I don't, and I'm still in sport mode. Um, sport to me is in normal. Well, we're going 30, so I think I think normal mode needs to be throttled up a bit. And if you can't do that, let me know. Normal mode needs to be at least a minimum of 20 miles an hour, just to fight what I would consider to be class five. Um, I can do it obviously in sport mode, but then I lose my bypass, and I want to have my bypass view working. And we're going to bring it in here. And there's Dad Random right there. And we're going to do... Get away from that power line there. No. And that power line has no effect on my drone. And never has. So, all right. So, we'll get... Let's go ahead and snap some pictures. Put this back in photography mode here. that off. Let's get some shots of the lake. OK, 
Okay, now, okay, every time I, every time I switch, I try because I'm locked in exposure, but you'd think that it would stay in the exposure I've got locked. So, take a picture there. And if I can take a picture while I'm in video mode, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and take another picture. Change the angle a bit. Now this is the way you should be able to adjust your angles right here. You should get that angle right there. The battery is low. Let's take a picture. 30% it's telling me. That's a really, really crazy battery. Um, that. Okay, so I'm gonna take it back in. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use return to home because I have no idea what this thing's gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw, get, re, yeah, let's take another picture of me. Yeah, there's dad random at the lake. Okay. Cancel return. All right, let's bring it, let's bring it back in here. All right. Okay, so, uh, queso, <laughs> queso. All right, I got a little battery left. Let's do a little bit of sport flying just for fun. Okay, a little bit of sport flying. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to, just for fun, we'll get that, folk, that footage. Okay, anytime I lock exposure, so I'm, I'm guessing that that's a, a function of what it does. So I'm gonna put this in level with the lake. I'm gonna go hit, I'm gonna hit. I took a picture. So I'm not, the funk, the, uh, the, the, dang it. Okay. There, I'm gonna lock that in right there. Oh. Up oh, there we go. Come on, come on. Get me back in. There now. Can we? If, maybe because it's in. It's okay. It's in low battery mode, but it is still letting me film. So. Now you hear how loud that is. That's fun. I mean, it's fun. And I and I in in bypass mode it or it doesn't have bypass no mode. Here let's do one more one more high speed pass. Ah, flares out nice. Um, so flying in high speed is fun. Oh, now it's returning to home. I'm gonna I'm going to counter the return to home because I am home. Which I like. I like the fact that I can just return to home. And here we go. This is the trust test. <laughs> that is the test of trust. So there it is right there. All right, dad random. In conclusion, speed sets, presets are a little bit slow. Okay, uh, I would say normal is way slow, so that needs to be changed. I would say flying characteristics in flight time were good. I think the flight time was great. I, I think that was a very reasonable flight time for a mid-range drone. This is a mid-range drone. It's not a mini, um, so we can't treat it like a mini. It is a middle range. Um, the gimbal, uh, I would say, needs to be. It's protected well by these. You know, and that's. Uh, a feature of this specific drone uh, design, um, but this is a very delicate drone, and I think to get it to be as smooth as possible, you know, you have to really do a lot of things, you know. But I'd say that smooth is also strong, 
So this thing, you know, for everyday users needs to be beefed up, I would say easily. Um, the weight of this thing is it's super heavy. And, and, and today I'm lucky because it's not a hot day, but I did get a lot of interesting warnings. Um, I, I'd say that, you know, warnings are good. Um, uh, this fan is very, very loud and the drone is very loud. And if I come to a, an area like this and my goal is to not bug people and to be inconspicuous, one of the biggest problems with drone users, users today is that we are on we are targets all the time and we need it quiet we need to we need a quiet drone i would say one of the most important things besides flight time for a photographer is we want it to be quiet <laughs> um the uh not uh uh bird over there that i was filming I, I could tell finally it wasn't a bird after i did my uh but there are some that actually hang out there it does look like a swan from here or a big a big crane or something but uh but um you know, you know the quiet. It needs to. Get, we need to get this thing quiet. I think the propellers are. I think it's it's loud because of the the prop size and the body size. I think this needs to be stretched out. Um, this drone needs to be stretched out to the corners. It needs to move out to put out to to uh, to haul a larger prop, kind of like another drone that I know. Um, but on the other hand, this because it's dense, because it's a very compact drone, it can with uh, withstand a lot of. A, a lot of wind resistance and that and you fight that battle with a drone design wind resistance versus you know what the body will do uh, when it comes to to gathering wind you know a, a, it can be just as much you know basically the body can be a lifting body and and that's not necessarily always good so this one's balancing that out i can tell um but uh speaking about it i, I think there's definitely a you know it's it's a drone that's um that um that has its purpose but I, you know, I, and I think, I think that from the earlier version of this drone, when this thing first came out back in 2018 or 2017, um, when the actual design came out, um, it, um, it was really good for that, for those reasons. But it was loud too, it was always a loud drone. So this one's no, uh, no different. All right, so for test one, uh, Dad Random, we took it out. Um, I probably am going to uh, have to fly or figure out the mode adjustment. And I'm gonna talk about that in my live stream about how to speed up um, the normal mode so it's much faster. The throttle response needs to be much higher. So I'll go check that out. But uh, this is the Blackhawk 2. Um, this is Exo Drones. Uh, what we want them to do is we want them next year to be better, uh, one step better. Um, this one uh, is priced in the mid range of drones and the mid ranges tend to be pretty much priced higher than this because the mid-range has changed a lot, the Air 2S. So this thing's battling against the Air 2S right now, um, but the Air 2S has a very large camera um, with a lot of the same flight characteristics except more of a balance within the, the three modes. All right, so there he is, Dad Random. Um, I'd say the other thing, just to kind of, you know, to hit the last little bit is, I don't know about the, the antenna issue. It's, I'm getting, I'm losing, I'm, this is exactly what happened uh, with the, uh, uh, with the, uh, uh, the Xenos. I, I had a lot of trouble with antennas and these little tiny antenna wires, uh, they're not uh, paddle directional. Um, so that's gotta improve. You're gonna sell a very expensive drone. We're gonna have to have some directional antennas. These are wired. You can see inside that the wires inside of here um, now you can correct me if I'm wrong. The other thing is this this bat this tray here. I have a thousand a fifteen hundred dollar phone that has to go in here, and you see that that can't that can't be on your expensive drones. You can't you can't have this. So you know I don't know if you replace this with metal or what you're going to do to to make it less cheap. It is more hefty. And let me see uh, let me see the battery left on here. One of the problems that yeah, it does have a a signal. Let's see. Oh, battery, uh, so you did put a new battery in there. That's good from the Xeno. That's one of the big, biggest problems with the Xenos is the battery was so freaking small. Uh, you can only fly it a couple times and this one still says that I've got uh, plenty of battery. That's good. Um, so that's where we're gonna end it right there. We gotta end this video. Uh, Dad Random with the Blackhawk 2 by Exo Drones. Um, we, are, uh, we are still bringing in good information uh, we are going to make this drone better if I can. Um, 
so it can fight the next battle, which is next year. Next year, the big battle's coming, whether you survive or not, and whether you're able to make another drone um, uh, to surpass this one. I, uh, so we'll talk about that in the next uh, video. So all right, Dad Random, later, bye. Photography at the lake. And yeah, we have water in the reservoir, don't we? And we also have rock and roll out here. A little punk. Bye-bye.